All right, Todd. It's a beautiful December day. Mm -hmm. Are you ready? I'm ready for this uh, most interesting taco odyssey we're about to embark on. You gave it away. Oh. Of course, the title of the video will probably give it away. Probably. Guys, we are ready. Um, it's time for the taco odyssey. We've been gearing up for this since pre-pandemic. Sorry, weird light on my chin. Uh, and we're re we're finally ready. We're here. We're doing it. We are we're in the parking in. lot of the taco truck. I think that's what it's called. I will give you more information. It's um, on Hendersonville Road in South Asheville, or Fletcher, if you will. And I'm starving. So we're going to try, I think, three tacos. We're going to split them. Uh, like a specialty, a vegetarian if they have one, and a basic... And then we will rate them for y'all. Sure. All right. You excited? Yeah. Okay. Hungry. Let's, all right. Let's do it. All right. It's cash only. Let's see if we got money. So we are here in a parking lot, which I'm pretty excited about because I feel like some of your best food you find in parking lots, you know? Yeah. We got a pastor, which is pork, a cabeza, which is beef cheek, and a vegetales, which is vegetable for a vegetarian. I cannot wait. All the tacos are served with onion, cilantro, grilled onion, jalapeno, and lime. veggie right now. It's really good. It's really, really hot. The veggie taco is amazing. The beans, the rice, the lime on top. I had a little bite of this roasted pepper. So good. A little, bit, a little bit of heat, not too much. Grilled onions, I'm just making it. All right, here's the beef cheek. Give it a little squeeze. I don't think people say squeeze. Mmm. Mmm. Mm. It's really good. It's got a nice, like, grilled kind of smoky flavor. Oh yeah. I would say these are extremely authentic. Oh yeah. Just the flavor is. Bam, 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 bam. Can you take some green onions? Can you go bam, bam, Can you go bam? On all fronts, it's just amazing. There's different textures. There's like the crispy texture of the, the tomatoes and the onions, the fresh, and then there's the grilled. What a way to start, huh? Yeah, good start. Good start. All right. Holy moly. Oh my gosh. What'd you think, Todd? Those were good. Tacos El Amigo, I guess is the name of it. Oh, Tacos El Amigo that's on Henderson. That's, that's what the sign says. That's what the sign says, yeah. Uh, you know when all the workers pull their trucks in, that's gonna be a good place. Yeah. Because they know the good places. All right, onwards. $3 a taco. Oh yeah. Tacos were all three dollars, no matter what kind you got, and cash only. We got a Coke for two dollars, so and eleven dollars. Eleven dollars for includes the tax, I guess. Okay, well, the Taco Odyssey has started off on a strong foot. We are following up Amigos, Amigos, Amigos. Uh, with uh, a very different place called White Duck, White Duck Taco. It kind of arguably started the taco trend in Asheville several years ago. Very non-traditional. They have um, all kinds of really Bonnie. interesting, yeah, like um, banh mi, uh, cur not curry, but like a Thai peanut. A lamb. All in tacos, which you might argue is not really a taco, but here on the Taco Odyssey, we're gonna give them a chance. 
Well, let's see how they stack up against the taco truck. This is, uh, there are several white duck tacos, but we're at the one in South Asheville on Miami Circle. And there's a really nice outdoor eating area. And a duck display area. And a duck display area. So at White Duck, you get a number and you sit wherever you want and they bring it out to you and they have, look at these cute little water themed water cups. We love a themed water cup. They have a cornhole out here and just a really nice little area. So we got a Thai peanut mm -hmm. chicken, it was our the specialty. We got a, just like the plain beef and cheese, yeah. something. Yeah, the kids talking, but it's not as exact because you can see the white right. food. And then they have a cool thing where they have jackfruit and they will substitute any of the tacos with vegetarian jackfruit as a meat substitute. So instead of steak and cheese, we got a jackfruit. Jackfruit and cheese, like a, um, a, a take on a Philly cheesesteak, but in a taco. I told you they're not very traditional, but that's okay. Because right. I'm excited. It's good. And the total was four, it? $14.02. Okay, and that was for three tacos. Three tacos. And no drink. Right. Okay. And we got a water. I mean, the waters, obviously. Yeah. And they do take credit cards. Yep. Okay. Okay, so he said this was the jackfruit, right? Yep. Jackfruit. Because they put that separate because I guess it was vegetarian. Yeah, that was really nice of them. This is, I think, the beef and whatever, whatever. The, the, the jamming. The jammin', so a beef lettuce, like a traditional meat taco. And this is the Thai peanut chicken. Yes. Right? All right. So they've got corn tortillas, but they're white corn as opposed to the yellow corn of the last place. Yeah, I'm going to start with the veggie. Got it. Now, these, I have to say, are larger than yeah. the last ones. Yeah. Um, a no, lot the of tortillas are larger. Yeah the, yeah, the tortillas seem a little, or the shells seem a little larger. Oh, really? I just feel like there's way more stuff inside. Mmm. Mmm. It's good. It's kind of basic. It tastes like a taco. Right? How's the jackfruit taste compared to. I think the jackfruit is a great alternative. I mean, it's so meaty. Meaty-like. Well. I mean, the flavors aren't, like, pouncing on me. You no. know, they're not knocking me over. But it's very fresh. All right, I'm going to move on to... What do you think, Todd? It's good. Yeah, I mean, the jackfruit is a nice alternative. Mm-hmm. I mean, I mean it's good. I'm sure it's a good place for protein. <laughs> yeah. I mean, I would say it's... Not quite as flavorful. No, I mean, definitely no. steak would be a lot better. <laughs> okay, so here is the jammin'. This is just meat, cheese, lettuce, uh, sour cream, and tomato. Is it sour cream or is it like a drizzle? Probably sour cream, I think you're like right. The crema. When I think of a traditional taco, that's what I think of. It's very tasty. The, um, Meat has a really good flavor to it. Gosh. Oh my god! What have you done? Mm. They're messy. They're super messy. Oh yeah. You really could make um, two tacos out of these, which I know some people do. Definitely. Yeah, the meat is much is very flavorful in mm. there. Yeah, I mean the veggies are not super flavor flavorful, but it's very fresh tasting. Mm -hmm. So I think that's important. Okay. Look how huge that is. Oh, so it's cabbage. There's like a mango slaw. I mean, there's a peanut sauce and then there's chicken. 
Mm. That's my favorite. Okay. It's got a little bit of spice. Yeah. I think that's what I'm missing on these two is any spice. Definitely one, two, three. One, two, three. Yeah. So first is the chicken, then the beef, then the yeah. vegetarian. Yep. Yeah. Okay. Um, yeah, I think that's just because it says the chicken has the most flavor. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I think so too. Uh, and I the jack fruit has a nice texture, but you don't really get that much flavor. Beef is just a standard taco. I think they missed an opportunity to like flavor the cabbage. You know, there's no, there could be like an acid. Yeah. Like if they tossed it in lime or something. Mm -hmm. But overall. Pork. Okay. Yes, delicious. I'm going to finish these while he's gone. Ah, we're like in the bright sun now. Okay, Todd, what are your final thoughts? Um, I mean, both of them were excellent. Mm hmm. Um, I would say that if I had to pick a winner, are we picking winners today or no? Yeah, I think Or just what the, the positives or the negatives are. But I mean, yeah. I think for more flavorful experience, I would go with the, with the, with this plate. Well, for the different experience with the white duck. Okay. So if you're looking for something kind of funky and unique yeah. in a taco, yeah. Yeah. Because uh, it definitely. Not traditional. Not traditional. Yeah. Now. And um, then, you know, and these tacos are a little more, I mean, talk about money. So, I mean, it was $14 with tax, so mm -hmm. it was probably, what, four over $4 a taco on average? Yeah, yeah. but they were larger. Yeah, think. they were larger, so. so... I don't know. So, yeah. So, it's like comparing apples to apples. <laughs> tacos to tacos, so they both they both were very good. If you were in a hurry, just want more traditional. Mm -hmm. Taco Amigos, or Amigos Tacos, mm -hmm. or the one on, on Hendersonville Road. Well, I was going to say, a culinary experience coming to White Duck. To that. Oh, yeah. Okay. I, I got you. Yeah, yeah. definitely. Um, but I realized I don't often have like authentic Mexican food. So to have that, I was just blown away and just thought all those flavors were right on. This place is great. Um, I love White Duck. Yeah. Very fresh, very flavorful. Yeah. So really, there is no loser today. Yeah. Six amazing tacos. Mm -hmm. Okay. Well, this is going to do it for round one of the Taco Odyssey. Yeah. I'm so excited to be on another food odyssey. Yeah, and also if you have any, yeah, we're sure we're not still working out the rules. Mm -hmm. So we think it's just going to be more of like <laughs> like a grab and go order. Like walk up places right. or like stand up and order instead of. Like a table, so like a sit down, like a pop and, and beer order from a yeah. Ser server. Yeah. You think? Always have to change. Yeah, more like street food. Yeah. Like, and also know. it has the word taco in the name. Yeah, it has the word taco. So if you have any suggestions, yeah, please we let are us know. always up. We kind of covered the south side of town, so we're going to be working our way north. There's still a couple on the south side too, I think. I know. There's that's there's why I said we're going to be working our way oh, north. Oh, okay. How about east and west? We're going to do those ways too. Yeah. Okay. All directions. Tacos in all directions. All right, guys. Well, thank you so much for watching. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Leave a comment down below. Where should we try next? Or, yeah. Or, yeah. And most importantly, don't forget to subscribe to our channel so our channel can grow. We can continue to bring you this amazing content that you're watching right now. All right, guys. Until next time.